Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create your own custom avatar for uh, Crazy Talk Animator 2 using our quick template that's included with the uh, Buddies World Content Pack, our Power Tools Volume 4. So I'm going to be showing you how to create this awesome looking Hulk character. And this template is only to be used for fully symmetrical characters. So if you have a character like this who has a peg for a leg or a hook for an arm, you're not going to be able to uh, use this template. So just keep that in mind uh, and keep your character symmetrical if you can. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead into Flash here. I'm using Flash CS6, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and open my buddy template quick. And we'll open that quickly. Uh, no pun intended there. I'm just going to press the Z hotkey and hold Alt to uh, zoom out a little bit here. And you can see this is our uh, uh, this is our template right here. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angle profiles, and then we have the top and the bottom as well. So I'm going to show you how you can modify each one of these angle profiles. And so let's start over at the, uh, let's start off at the zero degree angle profile. So I'm just going to click and zoom in on him. And you can see he has all these uh, pivot points all over the body. We're not going to worry about that in this tutorial. So I'm just going to select one of the pivot points and go down to pivot and just make that invisible. So now we can actually see his body. And the first thing I'm going to do is change the color of his torso. So what I need to do is just double click on his torso and double click again, go all the way into the base layer. You can see that we're at the drawing object now, which is part of the upper torso symbol. So each character body part is a symbol and it consists of like drawing objects and, and shapes and all this stuff. So whatever you have in the upper torso, it's, it's going to appear in your crazy talk animator character. So I've selected this drawing object and all I need to do to change the color is just go up to my color swatch up here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this like, you know, green, um, color for the Hulk and, uh, if we go back to our upper torso right here, you can see suddenly we have this green upper torso, which is awesome. We're on our way. So what I want to do now is go back to my uh, scene level here, and I'm going to do the same thing for the upper arm on my right hand side here. So just double click all the way in and select my drawing object again and go to my color swatch and change that to green. So now notice that when I choose this, uh, when I do the same thing to the right arm, it kind of transfers over to all the other angle profiles as well. So if I get out of my scene here and I press my H hotkey to uh, pan over my handy pan tool, you can see that all of my arms have also been switched over to green. So this template is really awesome that way. You can, uh, you know, make things a little lot faster if you have a symmetrical character. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the hands. So let's select uh, my character's hands. I can go all the way into the uh, base layer here until you have that little speckly thing. And then just go ahead and select the green color again. And Let's zoom in on the uh, character's hands. Um, so right hand, and then let's do the same thing for the thumb. I'm going to press the V hotkey for selection all the way into the thumb there and do the same thing. Make that color nice and green. And then I think we have this little area here, um, that little thumb area that's supposed to be shading. We'll just keep it the same color. That's fine with me right there. We'll keep it like that. And then you can see again that uh, all the other hands have... Uh, followed suit. So they've all uh, switched over just like the upper arms. So let's do the same thing for the feet. I'm just going to show you a couple uh, instances of doing this. So uh, there's the foot, color swatch. Again, change the color. Back to the main level. We can select the uh, other section of the foot. Make sure you have the drawing object selected. Just change the color and go back to the right foot. And then there's this little, you know, tiny area right here that's sticking out. Let's just change that to green as well. And then all is right in the world. So we have uh, back in our scene, let's press the Z hotkey, hold alt and click to zoom out. And our feet and our arms are all good for all these angle profiles. So now all we need to do is just the uh, face and the body. So I'm going to go press the V hotkey and let's actually just zoom in on my character first and V hotkey for select. And let's go all the way into my character's face, double click, double click, double click, and go and change that to green as well. And then if we go back to our uh, scene level, Let's see, suddenly we have this green character. Now keep in mind that if you want to do a complete job on this, you actually have to do the uh, various eye sprites, eyebrow sprites, and hand sprites as well. So for example, if I, if I double click on my eye, notice that we have all the different uh, eye sprites for the various expressions in here as well. And right there, for example, the eyelid is, uh, you know, kind of brown, tan from the original color. So we'd want to change that. And the same thing, the same thing goes, just double click all the way in. Until you get that speckly layer right there and just click here and you can change that to like maybe a darker green like that. And that's what you would do for all the different, uh, all the different, uh, keyframes, uh, for your various eye expressions right there. And the same thing goes for the hands as well. So you want to, if you want to double, whoops, I selected the arm there. Uh, let's select that hand. There you go. Whoops. One layer too far. 
So in the symbol, the hand symbol, you can see we have all those hands, but they're the wrong color. So if you want to do a complete job, you want to change all those hands. At least change the color of all the hands. So let's do the same thing for the uh, one more example. We'll do the 180 degree character. Again, just double click all the way into the uh, drawing object. Go up here and select, I think it was this color we had before. Yep. And then go back into the scene level. And let's pan over and see if we can select his face just from the uh, template here. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. And let's just go and change this to a dark green as well. Okay, so that's the same thing. Uh, pretty much goes with all the all the other um, angle profiles as well. I'll just quickly do that. I'll fast forward it through for you guys so you don't have to, uh, you know, follow through a couple of repetitive examples here. Okay, so there we're finished all of the, uh, you know, uh, templates, uh, angle profiles on the top level of the template there. Let's do the top and the bottom as well. So the top and the bottom are a bit different. Uh, we have the upper body and the lower body, or sorry, not the upper body and lower body, the head and the lower body. I guess it's the upper body. So I'm going to select um, the top first. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that top there. And I'm going to select the uh, head here. Just double click again in all the way and I'll do the same thing. And the head will uh, transfer to the uh, bottom angle as well because the head is the head. Let's go back to the scene level and let's do the body here. You can tell it's the body because it has like the hands and the arms attached to it uh, right there, the pivot points. We can probably take those out as well. Let's just, you know, get rid of those and double click all the way into the body. And since this is the upper body, so we're looking at the shoulders and everything like that, we're going to keep it green as well. We're eventually going to put some clothes on this Hulk, but looking at him from the top, he's going to look green. So we'll just go ahead and choose that for the upper body there. And again, this is for the hands, or rather the arms. We'll do the same thing for the arms. There we go. And finally for the hands, the hands are going to be the same thing. Uh, just click all the way in there. There we go. And finally for the feet. Now the feet are going to be different as well because we're looking at the top and the bottom of the feet, which, you know, are often very different. So uh, we're going to have to do the same thing for the, uh, the bottom um, angle profile as well. Go and select the uh, green for the bottom there. And so everything looks all good. Remember, we're going to keep this one a different color because that's going to actually be his shorts. And I'm going to show you now how to create uh, some character. Well, it's very simple clothing, actually. is pretty much the simplest you can get is the uh, character clothing. So we're going to give this guy some shorts because Hulk doesn't wear much clothes. Uh, and to do that, all I need to do is just double click again all the way into the drawing object. But this time, we're going to copy this drawing object. I'm going to right click and select copy. And then I'm going to go back to my upper torso symbol right here and I'm going to create a new layer. And on this layer, what I want to do is right click and paste in place. And I'll paste in place that drawing object that I had before. And I can, you know, move it around and the other drawing object is still underneath. I'm going to press Control Z and undo that. So what I want to do now is change the color of this layer two drawing object. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the color swatch and let's choose a nice uh, purple. Let's choose this one over here. Uh, it's like the old school Hulk color. And it looks fine and dandy. Now what I want to do is lock the lower layer that uh, has that green upper torso on it. And then I can just go ahead and select this top part right here and delete it. And then we hit, we are showing his uh, chest. So we basically deleted his, the top part of his shirt. Now he's showing his uh, strong bare chest there. So let's go back into the scene and there's our final uh, Hulk character all taken care of. So let's do the same thing for the 180 degree profile and then I'll fast forward it for you guys. So again, go all the way back into the drawing object, double click, double click, double click and select your color. Oops, we don't want to select the color actually first. Again, right click, copy that drawing object again, go back to the upper torso layer and create a new layer and just right click, paste in place. And then you want to change the color. I think we had uh, this color selected. I believe it was this one over here. Let's hope that's right. And then again, lock the uh, bottom layer and select all the stuff that you don't want and delete it. And let's go ahead and check if we got that color right. All right, looks close enough to me. So I'll just fast forward the rest of this for you guys since we have the same procedure again. All right, so we're done that. It looks like the uh, lower one looks a little bit lower cut than the other ones, but I'm not going to worry about that. Maybe he just wants to look sexy from that angle. And then for, again, for the same thing for the uh, bottom part of the body right here, we'll do the same color uh, all the way uh, into the drawing object. Right click it, copy it back to our upper torso bottom uh, level right there and right click paste in place and let's make sure we change that color to a nice royal purple there. This time we don't need to worry about creating a new layer or copying anything since we're basically just showing it from below. There's not going to be any like chest showing from this angle so I think we're good to go right there. So when you go back to scene one right here 
And that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm going to just uh, zoom out a little bit so we can uh, take a look at our uh, full, uh, fully completed character. So he's got that nice, those nice hot shorts again there. And so once you have all this taken care of, again, you'll probably want to go in and do the eyes and the uh, hands as well, the, the colors for those, and the eyebrows and any other modifications you want to make. I'm just showing you a really quick example here. So once you've done this, you want to go up to File and Export. And then you want to export as a movie. You can also press Control-Alt-Shift-S which is a lot of keys. So I'm just going to do that, and you want to export it as a SWF file. So we'll call this guy uh, Flam Boy... Boy... Boyant... Boyant Hulk. I thought, I'm not sure if that's how you spell Flamboyant, but forgive me if I'm wrong. So we'll save this to our desktop, Flamboyant Hulk, and save that as an SWF file. So that's basically all saved there. So I'm going to Alt-Tab uh, alt back into Crazy Talk Animator here, and I'm going to import in that template. Now to do that, I just need to go to my actor tab into characters and the buddy build folder. And let's import in one of our buddy bases. So here's our buddy base. And all we need to do is take him right into the character composer. So once he's loaded in the character composer, uh, all we need to do then is load up this uh, load G2 actor design template Swift and click that button. And then we'll find our uh, flamboyant Hulk somewhere down here. There he is. So let's double click that. And for these options here, the only one I want to keep are the joint mask settings. So don't worry about anything else right now. Just make sure you have joint mask settings selected and press OK. And our Hulk should appear on the screen momentarily. There he is with his nice, uh, you know, purple shorts. We don't have to worry about this error log right now. Don't worry about that. I'll just close that for now. And then we can see the character from all the different angle profiles. Because we replaced every single angle in our flash template, he is now fine from every single angle profile. So maybe you could have could have done with darker hair, but we'll just uh, you know skip that skip by that for now. So once your character is all done, just take him into the uh, stage, and then in the stage you can uh, resize him. Uh, again, you may have watched our other tutorials, but when you uh, create your character and you want to make him larger or smaller, you'll want to resize him in stage mode, not in composer mode, because the motions, uh, the bone structure of this character, uh, the way motions apply to it are absolute. So Generally, you just want to keep your character, um, resize him in the stage mode and not in the composer mode. So we can make him like, you know, a large, super large Hulk or something like that. And then he's good to go. And you can use the, uh, you know, uh, right and left bracket keys to rotate your character around. And then we can apply some animations to him. So go to like animation, go over to our uh, performs. And we have these buddy action performs again. Here's our uh, angry Hulk. Hulk mad. And we can also do the angry from the side. And again, the eyebrows or the eyelids that I uh, forgot uh, forgot earlier, uh, you can see they're showing up right now. So if I want to, you know, um, load up the full version that I have uh, already prepared, I can go back into Composer here and do that. So I could load the fully functional Hulk that I have, or I could go in and load another superhero that I've created uh, that takes a little bit longer. Uh, let's go to uh, load in this uh, CTA Buddy uh, template again. So this is, again, the same settings, just joint mask settings. So this is another uh, character that I've prepared earlier, which has a little bit more of a complicated makeup. It's good old Cap. So let's go ahead and just close this down again, and I can uh, go back into stage mode. And then with this character, you know, we've just replaced the character, so he's angry from this angle. He's angry from that angle. He's angry from every angle. And then we can just, you know, um, go back to the beginning there and uh, apply a couple more motions. So, whoops, not the scene manager, content manager, and animation. We can have Captain America doing everything from sitting happily to uh, snickering to talking uh, angrily. We can have him, we can even go to the uh, perform menu over here and have him, uh, you know, throwing stuff like uh, like this. Oops, we need to pick an actor before we, uh, you know, do any motions. So there's Captain America throwing, and again, all these motions are 2D motions, so they're made specifically for these characters. So keep that in mind. We can have him even, uh, you know, doing his business like that. Oh, and even talking on the phone. So. Uh, if I select this uh, talking on the phone um, item right here, notice that he won't have a phone in, appear in his hand because this is a custom character that I've created. However, all the custom content that comes with this content pack will have those additional uh, hand sprites. So, for example, if I go to my actor tab and I, you know, load in our naked buddy base character, we'll just make him a little bit larger so he doesn't look so puny beside the uh, captain there. Uh, if I go in, I go go into my sprite. Uh, or actually, just right click and remove the animation since we're on like frame 485 or something. And if I go and apply that same animation, that same uh, phone animation, I think it's down here. There we go. So let's apply the same phone animation. Let's see how it whipped out a phone. 
And that's because these characters, the standard characters that come with the, with the uh, pack, if I go into my sprite editor, they have all these like hand sprites where they're holding chips, candies, walking sticks, and all this fun stuff. So that's kind of a cool new feature with uh, this pack, and that's the first time we've ever done something like that. So it's pretty cool. So uh, that's about it, guys. I'll close off with a couple of little uh, sneak peeks at how I assembled the Captain America character really quickly. As you can see here, you know, putting the stripes and the stars and the letters on him and everything like that was a little more complicated than just simply putting on those uh, gaudy-looking purple shorts on the Hulk. I know I got those colors terribly wrong, but, uh, you know, it happens, and that's why we do uh, trial and error. But again, guys, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing all of your uh, simplified uh, buddy characters uh, in your productions and in the marketplace and everything like that. So again, thanks for watching, guys.